Well, that bacon down there. Here. Where's your key for this rascal at? He'll start. That thing will start. Got to have a key first. I hope I've got a key. Let me see if I can find the key. Who well, said it was down here? Huh? See if that's it. You need to get on it to get it neutral? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, see. It ain't in neutral now, is it? I don't know. Shouldn't it light up? No, the battery's dead. We gotta charge it up. We gotta roll it back so we can charge it up. So I'll try it, Ralph. You don't have to mess with it. Yeah. Will it come back now? No? Let me, uh, here, you come out of there and let me pull it on it just a minute. I can get it loose. Let me get on it. You get on it there. See where it's at right there. Here we rock it just a little bit here. No. Nope. I can't get it out of gear. Now see. Do you have to put it in uh, lock that in? I know that has to go in lock for reverse right there on them. That thing's about frozen. I've got a Foreman 450. You mm have. -hmm. Yeah. Let's see if I can find some pliers for it. I tell you what, Ralph, back up a minute. I need some more room. I can pull it back just to hire. So I can get in front of it. Don't you pull on it there, I'll do it. Just making sure it all pumped up and running like it's supposed to today. Let me go over here and plug that compressor up. Okay. Our compressor. This is dead now. It says recharge this. Huh? So, 
this one's not charged up here. It well, says charge cool. this one up. This You'll have to charge that. You have another, do you have another one? No, I ain't got another. No. We should have brought mine. I don't reckon. What? We don't have a jumper cable. Must have a cord for it. You gotta plug it in. Yeah, I know, that's why I'm looking for to plug it in at. What's that? Sir, baby. On the floor. Yep. Well, I'm going to have to come down here and clean this mess up. What's, did you use all these tools at one time? Not at one time, no. <laughs> well, I mean, over time, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So you got a lot of stuff in here, all kinds of wrenches and vice scripts and uh, different things. Is this what you used to work on your boat motors with? I just use them for everything. I just use, got a lot of tools to, to, to use for anything I want to. What did you work on the most down here? They had boat motors and cars and different stuff. Whatever I needed outboard. You got a nice looking drill press there. Yeah. Yep. Got you got about I think you got about ten or twelve different uh weed eaters down here. Ten or twelve. Well it looks like you could have that many. No. Not that many? No. Don't plug that in. Let's see. I don't think we got no power. I don't think there's no power on that, Ralph. Uh, there's no lights working back here in the back. Ain't no dial on that. Well, this light didn't come on right here, Ralph. I'm thinking we don't have no power back here. I tried to plug this up right here, see over here. Or maybe I didn't plug the right one up. I'm trying to plug this up a light so it'd have a little there bit of light. Might be no power. I got it now. Yeah, so you was tell me a little bit about your uh Motor over here, your boat motor. What brand of boat motor <coughs> is that over there, Ralph? That's a sea cane. A sea cane. <coughs> I believe it's what it is. Oh, okay. I see that over there. Yeah. Maybe I can get a little bit closer to it. Yeah, so it's a sea cane. And the the boat you got it on there is an aluminum boat, huh? Yeah, it's an aluminum Mars boat made in Michigan. Do you know? Do you know what year that motor might be? No, it's I don't. It's in the 50s, maybe, 60s? I don't know what model it is. So we finally got down here. We had to open the garage up, and we've been trying to get the four-wheeler started, and we're going to start back on that in a few minutes. But as we was uh, trying to get the battery charger going, we come across a few other interesting things that we was going to yeah. look at. One of the things I noticed is all the tools that you've got back here, you have got quite a collection of tools that you've used over the years to work on stuff. Yeah, yeah. So here about oh, two or three weeks ago when I was here and I was talking to you, I didn't realize that you worked on boat motors too at one time. Yeah. So that was something you did kind of starting out for yourself, I guess. And then, there's one I need to work on now. Yeah? That and over there, it's head gasket blowed. Yeah? That and over there. Well, uh, there's another one we'll look at over here in a minute and get a picture that of it. That old verbal runs perfect. Oh, that, that one does? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so you started buying them and selling them and working on them? And yeah. So this is not something you actually did as a business, though, was it? You just kind of no, did it as a hobby? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because I remember you said you'd fix motors for your friends if they came by. Yeah. And uh, so it kind of was a hobby working on them, huh? 
Yeah, it was. Yeah. So uh, we're going to uh, look at a couple other things here. I noticed that you got all these tools back here. We got quite a collection of tools. And my dad used to tell me he was a, he had a Jeep dealership and he'd always hire mechanics. And he always told me, he said, you could always tell how good a mechanic was by how many tools they had. <laughs> <laughs> If they had a lot of tools and they know what they was doing. That's so. a good mechanic. That's though. right. So I see all kinds of stuff right here. I see drill presses and welders and, and a little bit of everything. So you, yeah. you must be a pretty good mechanic then, from oh, what my I dad told me. <laughs> so uh, it looks like you've used these tools a few times. you got grinders over here. and Yeah. Uh, you've even got some of these old antique wrenches right here. You don't see a lot of these no more. These yeah, got to be. I kept them separate over there. If I come to something like that, I just put it in there. Yeah, these are some that I bet you. I, I bet these are some that your uh, papa might have used, huh? No, I. Uh, you don't know where you come across them at? I just got them somewhere. I don't know. You like collecting stuff, don't you? Yeah. You and Magdalene used to go out and she'd buy up a lot of stuff at the from yard sales and stuff, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So kind of accumulated on you here a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. Well, something else we found that was kind of interesting I haven't seen in a long time is these old ice trays right here. Yeah. Look at that. There's yeah. another one here somewhere over here. It is. This is the one I remember right here. That you put it in yeah. there and uh, it freeze and then you break yeah. the ice loose to that right there. That's nice, ain't them it? Them was about the last ones they had. Is them right there that I remember. Uh, that's supposed to go down. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So that says uh, Westinghouse. So that probably come in the refrigerator yeah. itself, didn't it? Probably did. So those are in good shape. I guess after this, they went to the plastic ones that you just bend and crack them out yeah. there was cheaper. So those are interesting. If anybody watching the video ever remembers these, make sure you leave a comment for us. So, all right, well, we'll go over here and- Don't lose your glasses now. Don't lose my, I can't see nothing without them, can I? <laughs> but yeah, we just uh, gonna look at, uh, trying to get this uh, four-wheeler started up. We had to get the battery charger charged up. We'll see if it'll start, won't we? Well, I'm gonna go over here and mess with it for just a minute and I'll be right back. I'll put them right there with this stuff right here, this other antique stuff. You got some antique stuff there. Oh, something else I saw that was really neat. I love this old can, that was a nice old can. I got a few, a couple like that in my store. You might have seen them if you've been down there before. Yeah, I did. You might have seen some. I like I them. It's nice. That's a nice old can. And I've got some oilers, which that ain't real, real old right there, but I like old, I like oil cans. Them's always nice. Has that got any threads on the end of the spout? This one right here? It ain't got none. Has that it? one don't, but now you've got some other cans over here that maybe has. I saw another one right over here. I don't think it's quite right. old. Let me get it. I think it's got the threads that you're talking about. Here's another nice one. What did oh, you Oh yeah, put? that's a newer can. This is a little newer, yeah, it's got yeah. the threads, but it's still an old one. And uh, so what was this for, gas or kerosene, or what would you used in it? I believe I used more uh, weed eater gas. Weed eater like gas, that. okay, yeah. We'll put them up right there. Well, those neat, we like those. I love old uh, tin stuff, anything made out of a tin or anything automotive related is always nice. Well, I'm gonna go over here and see if this will turn over, the four wheel or turn over. Okay. What is that? Well, I've got this on it. Oh, I see now. Well, that see when is. I go, well, when I go, well, that's neutral, yeah. but it's still locked up on us, Ralph, for some reason. It's, it's not. The, I thought the brakes might be stuck, but. So, why don't you go ahead and turn it over and let's see. Well, I see it starts right here, so let's see what it's gonna do. Quit now, don't let it quit spending. Here, I'll let you do it. You know, it's your full wheel, you know how it starts the best. You wanna try it? Right here is you, is that your choke? Yeah, this is a. Okay. I don't know, that's a gas. That's thing. a gas, yeah, you're giving it a little gas. I don't know, it's been a while since it's been started, probably, yeah. so. You want me to try to start it? Yeah.
They may not be no gas. No, it's got gas. I checked that. Do you have it turned off? Would you have turned the gas off down here? I bet you might have. Let me look to see. Fuel. No, it's turned. Is it turned off? No, let me go to on. It's on reserve. Does that matter? I don't reckon. I don't know. Let's try it now. We got it on. Mmm, need a new air filter, Ralph. Yeah. I don't know what's done there. What's done Just there? age, it's got old and dry rotted. That's not good for it right there because it'll pull that old dust into the carburetor. Need one. a new one, done. Yep. Needs a new one. That's probably the original one on it. It probably don't have a lot of miles on it. That might be uh, something we need to take off this outer filter anyways. It's going up because it's going to do nothing but that. It's just a two it ain't it? Ain't on no, but this right here is just extra protection and this is just dry rod. It's what's happened over the years. What year did you say this was? 2003? That? Yeah. That's a 97. Oh, it's a 97. Yeah. <coughs> I did buy that new. Oh yeah. <coughs> I'd say you did. <coughs> so let me go get a fill up screwdriver over here off the table. Here, come over here and sit down right here, man. Is it got a choke right here? Yeah. Let me get my glass and see. Let's see what that says. Choke. The choke's on. Okay. Let's go without the choke now. Yeah, you don't want to pull choke. Okay, so. You won't run that on full choke. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more ether in it here for us. All right, now. Give her a trial there, Ralph. You'll have to give it gas over there. Will I? Okay. What is that? I didn't give it no gas, Ralph. That's my fault. I know it. I don't know. I need a little more ether here. Hold on a minute. I wasn't thinking right. I thought it'd pick up on its own, but it didn't. Okay, let's go again. All right, I'm gonna get it going. I'm gonna keep it running with ether when we get it this time, okay? Where are you putting me? Right there. Let's try it again. Off it's not picking up enough gas for some reason. So let me take the lid off right here. That might let it. How, how old? Taste that. See how old it is. That gas. Can you taste? Tell me how old it is. It's full. It's full. Can you taste how old it is? Can you tell if it's bad by tasting it? Here, let's see if Jody can tell. Here, no, Jody. Taste and see that. if it's bad. How long has it been in here, Ralph? This gas. 
Shoot, I don't know. Long time. You think we're drain it in one of them cans over there and put fresh gas in? I don't know. It ought to run if it's fastened up. It ain't evaporated or nothing. Okay. Well, sometimes gas can, can get old. So it's a fine anyways, ain't it? We can get us on this tire, I could do more. Getting no guy if you've no, got you're right. So right here might be a problem. We've got it on it was on reserve. No wait a minute, it's on off. That's reserve. That's my problem. Let's go down to reserves where that's you have it. Right there. Right there on reserve. Okay, let's try it now. We might get it. Ready? Almost run, Ralph. It also, it's decided to maybe come alive. Turn that off over and don't let it run down. All right. See if it's got that extra. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> we can put them up in your store down there and put them on display. You got no, you got no tag up there, no Tennessee tag. Where'd you get that '56 Tennessee tag from? I don't know what. See that tag up there? That's old. Oh yeah. I was looking at that other one over. Where'd you get that at, Ralph? I took it off of my truck, I reckon. Oh, really? Car one. 56. I got a little bit of gas if we need to put some in it, too. I brought five gallon in case we need it. This has got plenty of gas, but this gas might not be good. The reason it might not want to run like it, you know, it might be, it goes bad after a while, after a few years. You just don't want to fire like it should, you know? Uh, it sounded all right there. I think, it was, on, I think it was running on ether, though. I don't think it was running on gas. I think it was running on ether. Well, it might have been.